بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Now, if you just try to see the different supported images on EVNG or GNS3, mostly both are same. When you compare with GNS3 or EVNG, they do support plenty of devices or the virtual devices. We can say starting with the IV simulation. Now, this is the same IV image which you find inside the flash. If you go to the router and if I say show version, so inside that there will be one image file. Generally, it starts with C thirty six hundred, C thirty seven hundred, like that. The uh, based on the platform. Now we can simulate these images. Like even you can simulate thirty six, thirty seven, seventeen hundred. Uh, in in GNS three as well, the same thing. Now what I'll be doing is I'm going to upload this image to this software, and then whenever I drag and drop the router, it's going to use that image and it's going to provide you the CLI. As if you are running a physical device, just like you have a physical box, and you connect to the console, and then you you open the CLI. Same way, you can get into the CLI of the device, and you can support everything what supports on the physical hardware. Now, apart from that, you also they also support uh, something called IOL. IOL they are generally called as IOS over Linux or Unix. Platform IOL or IOU, we call it as. Now these are also images which can be integrated inside the Cisco. Now, now Cisco images, and there are two categories in that. There is L2 and L3. So we got L2 images here, and we got L3 images. Now the difference between these two images is. Now the L2 images we can use for switching related task. If you want to simulate some switching labs, like if you want to implement some MSTP or spanning tree verifications, some other switching task, you can use this. That's one option. And likewise, you also have an L3 images which is more like a router. So you can simulate the router as well as switch, depending upon what type of image you are using. Whether you are using an L2 image or whether you are using L3 image, but if you see the IOS, IOS mainly supports L3 image, and there are few limitations with that. You cannot run uh, the new IOS versions like so. One of the limitation with IOS is the IOS images is you can run a 7000 series routers with 15 dot specific IOS versions, but not all. But whereas when you are running this IO IOU, it is platform independent, which means you can run the latest IOS versions irrespective of the platforms. Whereas the IOS is a more kind of platform dependent image, but this is independent of the platform. So mostly these IOU images are also used in your CCI lab exams, where in the CCI lab environment they set up thirty to forty routers. And then there you'll be tested on the virtual labs. Basically, they run these I will I will images. So these are kind of copyright images for Cisco, which are used for internal testing purposes. Apart from that, now this is more on routing and switching, which is more kind of enterprise or routing switching part. But if you want to simulate other devices like security devices, if you talk about Cisco security devices. You can simulate Cisco ASA, so ASA and ASA old version A dot, as well as ASA V, which supports the new versions. But again, in GNS3, it supports the new version, not the old version. That's a kind of a separation. And likewise, you can run Cisco other devices like Cisco IPS, no more used. You can simulate Cisco Firepower, which is the Cisco next generation firewall. You can run Cisco CSR devices, CSR routers. You can run IOS V. Now, these IOS V images, this is also kind of router and switch. So, to simulate a router or a switch, you can use IOS images, which is more simple, not complicated process. But again, there are a few limitations with that. You can run IOU, which is a better option. 
and our iways v iways v are actually the viral images cisco have its own internal viral software which is using uh, v images virtual images kind of a virtual router and the virtual software images you can also use that one so there are three different options mostly for the basic most of the routing i use this basic routings but for most of the advanced routing and switching i'll be using this either iou or iosv i prefer this one comfortable but mostly both are same slight difference in the processing utilizations apart from there is a big list of devices you can see esa wsa these are all security devices nxos nexus even there are some other images you can see these are all the only thing is you need to have the virtual image so if you have the virtual image like let's say i have the image of windows machine that is your uh, windows server i can simulate a windows server inside the topology as if i have a physical server in front of me if you have even you can simulate the vmware you can simulate plenty of other devices including sd wan uh, which will be covering will be using evng the same thing you can do on gns3 but the difference is the way you set up the way you set up the things will be different in both so these documentations if you see the playlist here which i have created on my youtube channel basically this playlist is going to help you to understand that you'll see this playlist here uh, this playlist shows you how to set up the things on the gns3 so here you can see adding the ios images here and setting up the default topology based on the ios routers and also you can connect some computer as well those options if required but again if you want to simulate in gns3 if you want to simulate ios v or iou or even if you want to implement sd wan or if you want to implement firepower any of these images you must integrate this with vmware so the back end you need a vmware integration you can see here whenever i powered on my gns3 automatically it runs this vm gns3 vm and that's what this integration video shows you about that how to do that because once you set up these things then only you can run advanced images like ios ios iou or iouv or asa or if you are going for service border then there is an xrv again sd wan images these are all images are dependent on that 